What's up guys, it's Dwayne with mountainbuck.com and today we are unboxing and assembling the Field & Stream Stealth 2 Climber Tree Stand. This is the cheapest tree stand, climbing tree stand, you can buy. I looked around, I searched online. This was about a hundred bucks from a Dick Sporting Goods flash sale. If you sign up for the emails, they send you flash sales all the time. This is a hundred dollar climbing tree stand Typically, you're gonna pay three, four times that much for a quality tree stand, so I figured, why not check it out? It's 100 bucks. Maybe it'll come in handy. Maybe it'll be a really good budget tree stand, climbing tree stand. So, we're gonna check this thing out. Let's just go over some of the details real quick. Uh, we got a steel mesh foot platform, adjustable mesh seat. Hopefully, that's comfortable. Padded armrest, back straps for easy carrying. Well, I would hope so. Uh, compact design folds flat for easy storage. Climbing straps, tie down straps, and fastening system. It's a browned non glare sand finish. It is a 20 by 27 inch steel platform, 21 by 16 inch adjustable mesh seat. It has a 300 pound weight capacity and it is 24 pounds. So it's 24 pounds right at that mid range. The Summit Viper SD is, you know, about 20 pounds or so. This thing's 24 pounds. It's lighter than the Summit steel climbing tree stand at 29 pounds so it's right in the middle there so let's check this out uh, it comes with a tether shoulder straps um, leg straps full body harness probably a generic harness that we're going to throw out anyway and upgrade um, backpack straps has an accessory bag all that good stuff so let's get into this field and stream stealth climber 2 climbing tree stand the cheapest climbing tree stand you can buy let's check this guy out All right, there we have it. Let's see what we got here. Looks like they gave us a ratchet strap and another strap probably to secure the top of the tree stand to the tree. Uh, a little bit of rope and some nuts and bolts. Here's our accessory carry bag. And it looks like these might be the arm pad, armrest straps, um, rests, you know. What have we got in this red bag? Okay. This looks like it's going to be our safety harness. And look at this jumbled up, tangled mess. Um, I never use these standard safety harnesses. They're super uncomfortable. I don't feel secure in them. So I upgraded to a muddy harness or something more secure, much more comfortable. It's not gonna be pulling at you in all the wrong places. So we just throw that guy away. All right, we have the Field and Stream Stealth 2 Steel Climber Instruction Manual, and it even comes with a DVD. Check that out. Let's see what we gotta do here. Let's follow the instructions. All right, it shows you how to um, set up your safety harness, tether yourself to the tree, so it just gives you climbing instructions. Um, if you want a really good demo on how to use a climbing tree stand, check out my Summit Viper SD review and demo. I went through, took a lot of the time and effort to uh, go through the climbing process with that one. I'm gonna do one with this as well, but in a separate video. So maybe you can check this one out um, later on as well. All right. Okay, this is interesting. So we have here the upper portion and the seat. So this is going to be our mesh seat. You see this? I don't know how comfortable that's going to be, but it's $100, so we're not gonna get, you know, top of the line quality, top of the line comfort here. It is what it is for a hundred bucks. Um, I 
I imagine you just pull it out and stretch it down until you have your seat level. This is the part that's going to be into the tree. And I imagine we have these interesting um, rubber cables that are going to go around the tree. Okay, so this made me a little nervous for a second. I'm feeling this rubber, I'm seeing this rubber, I'm like, that can't possibly be the case, that it's a rubber strap, but it looks like they're coated in plastic as well. But there is a steel, two steel cables um, right in between here. So I don't know if you can see, we have steel, steel cables. It's gonna be much more secure than just some rubber up in the tree. So those should be uh, good to go. So let's see how these things work here. I'm guessing we uh, bolt these in somehow. So we're just gonna stick the end here um, right inside. There's an opening here which we're going to put our one of our nuts. One of our one of our bolts, sorry. Um, got a couple washers. I guess we should put a washer on here first. Oh, that ain't gonna fit. Okay. There we go. So I'm just lining up the holes in here. I don't know if you can see it. So we'll tighten this guy down uh, with some wrenches later on. We'll bring down um, this little closing action here. So we'll stick the other end in here. Close her up with this guy if we can. Okay. And that's going to keep us secure on the tree. So this is our upper portion with our seat. Um, obviously, when you get to the tree, you're just going to pop this guy off, pull it out. It's nice it sticks on here, so you're not going to lose this pin. Put her around the tree, adjust to the diameter of the tree. You can go all the way in. There's quite a few holes on this thing, um, but for now, we'll just leave it uh, right here at the max and close it back up. All right, so that is the top one. This this thing's pretty light. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, doesn't feel too heavy just to muscle around. So that's not too shabby there. So these things, these arms adjust, which I guess they fold for uh, carrying purposes. Um, so you might just want to be mindful as you're climbing the tree that these things can move on you. So that's that's an interesting design there. Okay. So we're just going to repeat this for the bottom set, um, for the bottom platform and footrest. Now this one is a little bit heavier, uh, it does have the steel steel grate to rest your feet, but it's a pretty good size. I mean you could, uh, you can see how you have you know a good amount of room to rest your feet on here. Um, you do have the bungee strap here, which I'm guessing you put your boots under to help you climb up, but we'll demo that one later. So same process. We're going to take this piece here and in the same way, check this out. I'm going to put the closed end. Right down in there, you can see right through there. We're gonna put the bolt in, uh, put the nut on there, and then put the other end here, right down in here as well. And this one we could lock with this handy dandy thing. Just gonna pull her out. Push her right in. Yeah, 
Watch these arms, man. They fold out on you. And close it up. Let me just go ahead and add this bolt in on this side. I'm guessing it would make sense to put the bolt going this way uh, because you don't want that extra bit of bolt sticking out, you know, catching on your feet or anything. So I'd imagine you'd want to put the bolt in from this way on the bolt platforms, okay? All right, I lost my washer and my nut here somewhere. So you get the idea here. Um, there it is. All right, so we'll just finish putting this back on. And let's see how they might close up together. Not exactly sure how this is gonna go. Let's find out if they show you in the instructions. Uh, all right, so there are some extras in here. We have the padded armrests. They also gave us some extra straps in here, which I'm guessing are for the backpacks. We're gonna figure that out. Some extra straps. So there's not a ton of instructions as far as putting this together. I mean, the basics are here, how to add this in uh, to both the upper and lower platforms, but the rest of it, you just kind of have to figure out. So what I'm gonna do is see if I can get the arm, the padded armrests on the upper portion. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, right? Okay, so I'm guessing these are for the armrests. However, there is no padding uh, at all in here. So it's just basically a little bit of camo, which might make some noise if you brush up against it. So I don't know if you even want to put these on, but we're going to throw them on there. I was guessing this was for the shooting rail. It does have a little bit of padding in there, which is nice. It's going to deaden the sound a little bit, uh, if you're putting your gun or crossbow or something on there um, or your compound bow but let's just see it's kind of long so I don't know if this even goes on here okay so it is kind of nice it goes all the way along the shooting rail it does dampen and deaden the sound a little bit um, so I think I will leave this one on here these guys though kind of crinkly I don't think that I'm going to use them uh, while I'm up in this thing because if you brush up against it you get that really nice dry lead crinkling sound which you really don't want if you're trying to uh, get some deer to come in close plus I have this extra one I have no idea what it's for okay so here we have a backpack strap looks like um, more straps which we're gonna have to figure out what exactly we're doing with them yeah, I'm gonna take these off I ain't gonna use these so we're just gonna shimmy this hammock style seat up and down a little bit just to get it where we want it. Let's pull on it a little bit, it does loosen up. I'm sure as you get in the tree and you're sitting on this thing, it'll start stretching it out. So this says it'll hold 300 pounds. I believe it. 
Um, might not be super comfortable, but we'll find out. Okay, so we're gonna add these little cinching straps to the bottom platform, the footrest platform, to put our boots into and then tuck our heel behind this bungee so we'll make it easy to climb the tree. So they gave us two of these little cinching straps. So we're just gonna work this around this bar and through and then make a nice loop so we could stick our boot into. So here we have a uh, nice loop and it should stay on there pretty good uh, for our boots. We'll do one on the other side as well. All right, so let's see if we could pack this thing up together to see how easy it is to transport in and out of the woods. Let's set this this way. All right, not bad. So that's locking in there pretty pretty nice. Came together pretty nice. We're just gonna use those cinch straps at the bottom and crank these two pieces down on top of each other so they're not all rattling around. Let's figure out these backpack straps. One here. <clears throat> And one here. Now it says these backpack straps are padded and they are, but you could see just how thin that is. So, I mean, what do you expect for a hundred bucks, right? We're gonna have like padded clothing. It's gonna be cold out. So it's not like they're gonna be digging into you anyway. So <clears throat> they're cheap, but they'll do the job. All right, so we have to flip this over. To transport through the woods, I would think you'd want to get these things down inside the frame as far as possible so they're not all sticking out and flapping around up here, okay? Around the second rung here, you can see this. So we're going around the top rung and then around the second rung of the foot section with these padded back straps. going to do the same thing with our other padded back strap. Actually, we're going to move this stuff down in here. We don't need these, uh, these things flopping around while we're carrying it. So I'm just going to push this all the way down in there as far as I can. Make it a little bit easier for transport. And you can see how far that thing collapses down. I'll show you the difference here in a second. All right, so look at the difference here between the, the bottom section, which I pushed all the way down inside the frame, and the top section here, just hanging out, flapping around. You don't want that thing hitting you in the head while you're, while you're carrying it through the woods. So it'd be a lot easier to transport if you shove that thing all the way down inside the frame. So we're gonna do a full rundown, a full review of this thing. I'll do another video demoing and reviewing this in a tree. So we can see how it really works out there, how comfortable it is, all that good stuff. This is the Field and Stream Stealth 2 Steel Climber Climbing Tree Stand. It is the cheapest climbing tree stand you could possibly get. $100 on a Dick's Flash Sale. As always, the links to the items we talked about are in the description below. Hook me up and hit subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out, and we'll see you on the next one.